Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial on the Manuel Graphics YouTube channel. And today we've got another simple tutorial, but it um, comes out with a really substantial effect. And that is the colour splash effect. I'm sure you've seen this before where the background is mainly grey. And then there's one item here, which is coloured. So there's multiple ways to do this. Of course, multiple tools. Um, so we're going to get started. So let's go open up our apples here. So I found this image over on Google, and I will give you the link in the description. Um, so basically, the first step is we want to duplicate our base layer, and then we're going to go to colors, desaturate and definitely choose lightness. If you want to see that's too bright and average, no, I don't like it, lightness, bye bye. Okay, the next step in the tutorial is we're gonna to go to colors, curves. Just to edit our image a bit. Bring out those um, nice grays. Now we're gonna duplicate the base image again. Um, now, on our top greyed out image, we're going to do multiple things. We can either make a selection using our circle tool for various images, circle images like this, or you can use the pass tool to make a path, or you can use the poly, um, the rectangle select tool if you've got something that is predominantly square. So we've got something predominantly very round, and that's what we're going to be focusing on. So make your selection of your apple, selected apple, so I've chosen the center one here, and then hit command or control X on your keyboard. And if it produces a white layer, a white um, color like this, that's okay. It's just telling us that this layer has no alpha channel, so no transparency. So right click on the layer and then click add alpha channel. Then click, then click control or command X on your keyboard. And there we go. Um, to deselect, go into select, um, Select none or command or control shift A. As you see, it makes a nice circle for us around here, but there's still a little bit of the edges that need fixing up. So you can still go around with your ellipse tool and select those for a nice cut, or if you're lazy like me, you can zoom in and get your eraser brush. So grab your eraser tool and grab a sorry, it's, um, quite a hard brush and just brush around the sides here. Zooming in as much as possible to get the best outcome. And this may not have the nicest finished, but it definitely is the quickest method doing so and now we can just zoom out and have a look and there we go this gives a very nice color splash effect so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I shall catch you in my next tutorial bye